What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings, as you know. And tonight, I'm going to be doing my Q&A after SmackDown. Guys, and we have new Raw Tag Team Champions. And the Usos. Welcome to the Uso Penitentiary, as we are. Day one. Yes. Because of Roman Reigns, we have new Raw Tag Team Champions, Double Champions, the Usos. I'm s See, I don't even need to wear my Bloodline shirt. D d d do you guys see me wearing my Bloodline shirt tonight? No. Because I knew they were going to win. So, I just wore a SmackDown shirt. So, let's get into these questions. The first question is, what are, what are your latest pickups? I got NCIS Los Angeles Season 9... And I love this, um, I, I love the design of this DVD. So you have them on the back. Justice LA style. You have Sam, you have Cal, you have Kenzie, you have Deeks on the back on rocking chairs. And then you just have this beautiful back artwork on the discs. I just love this. Design. And I think that's my only pickup I ha I got for the week. Um, let's see. Um... What's going on? Nope, so that's my only pickup for this week. So, the next question is, and these three questions are from MarkBoy316. What do you think of Sasha Banks and Naomi walking out on Raw? So, if you saw SmackDown tonight, like right before the RK Bro and the Usos match... Michael Cole said, I think this is, like, unscripted, because why would you give a script of, for Michael Cole to say this? He said, they threw the titles at Vince, or corporate, and they have been suspended indefinitely. And now, they're going to be new... Women's Tag Team Champions. The, 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 wake up. The, the, the women's division, they have zero stars. Okay? Okay? No one in their brightest mind would go after the women's championships. There is a tournament to come up with new champions. Who who in their bright mind besides Natalia and Tamina? Like women superstars in WWE 2022. Or can't I just go to can't I just go to WWE.com and just type in superstars? Yeah. Oh look, they still have their 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 pretty little faces as tag team type champions. What? Okay, so current can't I just like. 
I don't know. But, but, I don't know. But there's a bunch of superstars for, for, for the women's division to become the tag team champions. But who wants to become the tag team champions? Nobody, because they don't put in enough TV time for one match. These tag team championships were developed in 2019 at... Where is it? Extreme Rule... At... Whoops. El Elimination Chamber. 2019. There they are. Bailey and Sasha Banks. Besides this match, the women's division for the Tag Team Championships means nothing. So, I'm kind of... Excited for the next thing for for Sasha Banks and Naomi because supposedly Sasha Banks's contract is up in a couple of months suspended no fired yes I think Sasha Banks is fired not suspended I think Sasha Banks will Will come up in AEW or go to an or go to another promotion and be used the correct way. Now, Naomi, on the other hand, she's gonna come back, and she's also gonna be in the Bloodline. Yes. <coughs> But, but Sasha, no, she's gone. So, do I think it's the, the, the best move for Sasha? Yes. Do I think it's, like, super inappropriate to, to throw the titles at Vince in corporate? Yes. I, I, I think that's very inappropriate. Because the thing was that there was a... I think there was like a, a six women match and the winner was going to face Bianca Belair for the title. And I think Sasha was supposed to go over and pin Naomi. That's what I'm hearing. But like, come on. So I think, I, th I think it was wrong the way that they did it. But I'm kind of glad that they actually did it. So, the next question is, do you think Punk will win the AEW title at Double or Nothing? Dude, yes. And speaking of AEW, if I go on their AEW shop, there is one item that is finally out. It took a couple of months... But you can now get, um, hold on, AEW Re Revolution 2022 two-disc set on DVD. It is finally out. Here's a picture of it. And it is available now to order, if you would like to to order it. Um, the matches are Hangman Adam Page versus Adam Cole, the Dog Collar match, CM Punk versus MJF, which is one of my favorite matches I'm going to watch. You have John Moxley versus Brian Danielson. And the match that I'm, I think, the most excited for, besides the Dog Collar match, is the trio's... Tornado Trios match. You have Matt Hardy, Andrade, Sammy Guevara, or verse or Isaiah Kennedy. I, I I don't know who that is. Versus Sammy Guevara, Darby Allen, and Sting. So yes, it is a fit. It's a officially out. It is twenty four ninety nine. It's, yes, guys, I know that's expensive, but if you only buy, like, one item, then you're good. 
So there it is. So I do think Punk will win. Um, and as an extra, you get House of Black versus Penta, Pac, and Eric Redbeard, who is Eric Rowan from WWE. So, I do think it's Punk's time to win. He's been in the company since, what, September 2021? When did CM Punk return to wrestling? No, but no, but I think down the line, um, MJF will win the 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 championship. Although I'm, although they do say that MJF's contract is ending in two years. So, Punk made his debut in AEW on Rampage, August twentieth, twenty twenty one. Yes, I do think he will win the championship. But that will be saved for my predictions video coming up. Because when is EW Double or Nothing 2022? That is on May 29th. So very soon the, those um, those predictions will happen. So then the next question is, and the last question, what was your favorite year in wrestling and why? Dude, I've been watching wrestling for 12 years. Started in 2010, as you guys know. I think my favorite years, or, or my favorite year, but I'm... But I'm going to say years. 2011, 2013, and 2014. Well, part of 2014. But, no. There's three years. 23rd, 20, there's four. I don't know. But, 2011, 2013, because of one reason. 2013 is the start of the Yes Movement for... For Brian Danielson. Or Daniel Bryan. For 2014. Y yeah the Yes Movement. the Like the kind of the end of the Yes Movement. But for real the beginning of it. Like the mid century of it. You had Brian. You had Daniel Bryan win the championship at WrestleMania 30. But also at that pay-per-view, you had Brock Lesnar destroy The Undertaker and end his streak. Yeah. Um, I just think if he was booked differently, Bray Wyatt could have ended his streak at 30. And then just have the same run as Brock Lesnar. Just, just saying. But in 2011, you had CM Punk cut that fantastic pipe bomb on John Cena. His contract was ending. He came back. He, he, he went through the crowd at Money in the Bank. But 2011, you had on SmackDown. You had a certain two, two guys, Randy Orton and Christian. Fantastic rivalry. Fantastic match at S SummerSlam 2011 in a no-holds-barred match. You had Edge retire, which is, like, sad, but... Come on, guys, he's back. I mean, that's still a sad moment. And then in 2013, you had one match. You actually had two matches at SummerSlam 2013. You had John Cena versus Daniel Bryan. You also had 
CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar. That's all you have to say. And then you had Orton as champion. Kind of okay. And then 2016 is probably the best year in wrestling for me. Because you had AJ Styles um, debut from Ring of Honor from TNA. Um, you had a great few with Roman Reigns at the beginning of his career. I mean, the beginning of his career, he was already going after the WWE title. Who says that besides John Cena in 2005? But you had, you had AJ Styles go after the title. And then in September... You, the best promo of this guy, his name is Dolph Ziggler. The best promo in August of two, 2016, going up against Dean Ambrose, John Moxley for the world title. I'm going to burn Brooklyn in the ground, beat your ass, and become the WWE champion. That was... Maybe the best promo I've ever heard from Ziggler. Besides in September when he was going against The Miz. But now going to The Miz and Dolph Ziggler. Still 2016. You had two, you had two great matches. You, you, you had the Backlash match. And then one match. There's that there yeah the two matches that I'm talking about are Backlash 2016 when AJ Styles became the champion from Dean Ambrose and then The Miz versus Ziggler to start their title the title picture and then you had, like, the promo of Ziggler saying, like, put that title up one more time. And, and if you win, I'm, I'm leaving WWE forever. That, that cut me because I loved Dolph Ziggler back in 2016. And then, and then we get to this match. No Mercy... 2016. And yes, guys, I had to buy best pay-per-view matches of 2016 because No Mercy is not on on DVD. You can only buy it fan-made on eBay. You have to buy the 2016 set if you want to see Ziggler versus The Miz at No Mercy. Great match. Fantastic match. I think I'm going to watch that match after um, I play the Usos versus RK-Bro on 2K22. But, like, but, but, but here, 2016 was, like, unforgettable. I don't... You don't talk about WWE... Without talking about 2016. The best year for WWE by far. For SmackDown. Raw, I'm, uh, for, for Raw, I mean, you had Kevin Owens as Universal Champion. Which was okay. And then you had this fantastic match. And no, I'm not talking about this match. Goldberg versus Lesnar. Yeah, the tw one minute and 26 seconds. No, dude. I'm talking about this match. Yeah, Jericho, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Universal Champion Kevin Owens, Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon, Randy Orton, Dean Ambrose at the time, World Champion AJ Styles, and Bray Wyatt. 
And also, in 2017, Luke Harper was on the run of his life. Um, he he should have been... Guys, put this down in the comments right now. Did Luke Harper, Brody Lee, r rest in peace? Did he deserve to be in the title match at WrestleMania 33 against Orton and Bray? My answer is simple. Yes, yes, yes. So, speaking of this match, fantastic five on five. Fantastic. So, those are my favorite years in WWE and why. Um, 2012, not really. I went to the Royal Rumble in 2012. It, it For 25 years, I mean, you can do what you do. But in 2015, you had The Undertaker versus Lesnar again. Great stuff. I mean, I was at B B Battleground when... Um, Taker made his re return from 30 from 30 So, yeah guys, those are the questions for today's Q&A. I hope you enjoyed. And the best year for me for again for WWE is 2011. 13 and 16. I would say the best year out of those three is 16. And this guy's have been Patrick from Porter's Unboxings, and I'm out. Peace.